Hey y'all, it's the Witch and Hour, and I'm feeling witchy. My name is Monique Silvanette. I am from New Orleans, Louisiana. Now residing in Ecuador with my family. You can call me Creole Queen, you can call me Goddess, or you can call me the Baddest Witch 504. I'm a shamanist. I'm a female empowerment coach as well as a professional spellcaster, and I work with dark energy feminine energy. I consider myself to be a dark goddess. I am a solitary practitioner, oracle, and spiritual advisor. I've been gifted with spiritual sight to see into women's lives and to help them with their troubles in life and in their relationships. And I also help women to learn to embrace their dark femininity. My black, spe my black magic spells and rituals help to enhance your life and help you to take control of different things that you may feel is out of control in your life. I am an advocate, a defender, and a protector of women, and my ministry is to women and only for women. The Doma, Daughters of Matriarchs, is a ministry to women. Doma represents a female-led sisterhood, a matriarchy, and that's that. Thank you so much for listening and for watching, and I'm grateful for the support. If you are new to my channel and to my work, I hope you enjoy this video. Please click like, comment, share this video with friends. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you will get notified whenever I upload new videos. And please follow my social media and you can find it in the description box. Please schedule a consultation with me today if you would like support in manifesting your goals, your intentions, or if you would like support on your healing journey. I offer both spiritual and female empowerment coaching, spells, and rituals. I will never hit anyone up asking if they want a spell or a reading. So if anybody is trying to hit you up saying that they're me, Beware of scammers posing as me because, you know, that's, that's a problem. And before you make a purchase, I will send you a brief voice message, just a brief one, so that you can confirm that you are speaking to and purchasing from the right person. I would also like to extend an invitation to our Doma Goddess Retreat. Hosted by myself, Amethyst Tuzi, and Priestess Karma. Escape, escape to nature. Embrace the magic of the coast of Ecuador. Feel the mystical energy of nature as you connect with your divine feminine essence. And this is an invitation to unlock your full potential. To discover the beauty that awaits you. And whether you are a seasoned goddess or more of a curious beginner on the natural path. Let your soul roam, love wild, and live free. RSVP your spot today. I promise you won't want to miss it. Visit our website at domagoddessretreats.com for booking or contact me by email highpriestess underscore 504 at yahoo.com or you can hit me up on WhatsApp. All right, let's get into it. This video is about dark femininity versus light femininity. Dark feminine energy resides in every woman. Yet, most women are completely unaware of this core part of themselves. And most women never use this powerful force of nature. One of the things that really changed my life was to realize that both light and darkness have a place in our world. It has a place in my world. So not only do I have dark feminine energy within me, but I also need to embrace light energy along with it. So in order for me to be my full authentic self as a woman, you know, we have to embrace the dark. We have to embrace our shadow. And this is a profound duality that mostly is unacknowledged. But it's very inherent in our femininity. So 
you need to know what dark femininity is and how to integrate this part of yourself and bring it into consciousness in order to embody your entire femininity as well as you know how dark feminine energy manifests when it's fully embraced so now let's start with what is dark feminine energy see we use darkness as a metaphor for deep for the deeper unconscious part of ourselves hidden below the surface dark feminine energy is all these feminine traits that were suppressed deep into the subconscious in order to conform to a certain idea that society had of what a woman should be so dark feminine energy does not mean that it's an evil energy we're not evil goddesses okay it just means that it's hidden deep into the unconscious and it was made that way in order to suit patriarchal philosophy and agendas so why do you think society or patriarchy would want to encourage women to suppress certain aspects of their femininity well, I think it's not only because these aspects don't serve patriarchal thought, but more specifically, they don't serve men. And these aspects give more power to women. And so patriarchy created different norms, conventions, and traditions in order to keep the dark feminine energy dormant inside as many women as possible. So for centuries, women have been taught from early childhood to only be in their light feminine energy and to be all love and light and positivity and fluffy bunnies and rainbows, which is total fucking bullshit. Women are expected in many cultures, many cultures around the world to always be nice and always be passive and to be this this mothering nurturing compassionate empathetic figure who is always just nurturing everybody coddling everyone around them and avoiding controversy at all costs among other things so dark feminine energy is the polar opposite of these light feminine energy qualities. It is when a woman deploys all of her being in the service of herself and herself alone. And that entails to not always be so nice and to stand up for yourself and to disagree with men when you know that they're wrong and to be bold and see this is why women in their dark feminine energy get accused of being selfish and self-centered and being a heartless cruel bitch but the truth is that they are just women who are focused on benefiting themselves first and foremost but there needs to be a balance between the dark feminine and the light feminine it's important to embrace the duality of our femininity having both energies coexisting within us if you are exclusively in your light feminine energy you are setting yourself up for a life of unfulfillment delusion discontent hurt abuse man pleasing people pleasing and just resentment but if you are exclusively in your in your light or in your dark femininity, I meant to say, your dark femininity, you are also setting yourself up for a life of loneliness, absence of belonging, isolation, and a lot of hate from the opposite sex. So you need both energies in order to live the whole experience of what it means to be a woman 